Here we are at part 11.3 of my video walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And we have just got the compass. Awesome. Now we got a little bit of backtracking to do. If you remember the twisted corridor, we need to head back to the beginning of it. I like the twisted room. I think it's pretty cool. Alright, back in here we'll probably have to take these guys out just because they get in the way. I, I hate them, they're annoying. Come on, Z-targeting. Awesome. Watch out! Hey! Alright, and the little uh, silver tab there, if you notice, with the eye on it. Nope, can't use the hook shot, but we can arrow it. Ooh, look at that. Straightened out the corridor. Awesome. Should be a chest. Oh, looky there, there is a chest. What's that windy sound? Oh, it's a funky looking chest. Oh, the boss key. Awesome. This looks like um, some fun jumping experience here. Ooh, I hear some screeching. Hey, it's our buddy, the GS. All right. Gold Skulltula for the win. Ah! Kind of scared me. Big old giant plant thing. Ha 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 If you stun them, you can still cut their stock in one hit, even though they're big. Whoa, I don't like being trapped. Oh yeah, it's the floating hand of doom. Now I found the easiest thing to do is when it splits into multiple little ones, is to use Din's fire! Because they always drop magic pots. Just like the mummies and frickin' the skull temple. Awesome! Treasure chestage. For the key! Man, why is this place so twisting and just, uh. Alright, we're back into the tall room that had the twisted corridor in the first place. So now we can work on climbing our way out of here. There was one treasure chest in here that we were unable to get before. Just because of where it was located. We needed arrows in order to get it. And it gives us arrows when we get it. So, I don't know. I think it's kind of a waste of time, but it is a treasure chest. We must collect them all. Yay! A bundle of arrows! Awesome! Oops, I kind of got a uh, spun around a little bit here. It's just it's it's it, it's easy to lose track of uh, where you're located in these twisting passages.
All right. Awesome. Now we're going to have to straighten the uh, path back up. Oh. Man, if I was a little bit quicker, I could have got that shot off. Well, not straighten the path back up, but crooked, crooked the path back up so that we can actually go on to the next room. Because now we're going on to the other side of the two ghost area. Now that we have two keys, we can move onward. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I just keep getting zoned out into the awesome temple music here. Alright, new areas. I don't want to listen. I know about the shadows of the monsters that hang from the ceiling. But thank you for the warning anyway. This is another room like uh, the one we were previously, where we have the hallway that we can twist. The uh, green flying skull ones there, you can only attack them when the flame's gone, and it just kind of goes away after a while, and then comes back. Oh boy, doesn't this look like a fun little mini game? Over there you notice the switch, but the switch is covered in ice. So um, what we have to do is shoot the arrow through the flame on the torch and hit the switch. Oh yeah! This will twist the corridor. Oh, come on, you could go a little bit quicker. Oh, I usually don't bother fighting those things just because they're easy enough to run around. Alright. No treasures in here, but there's a pitfall which will drop us down into here. Now, have you noticed the nice checkerboard tile? and the collapsing ceiling. Really, the ceiling is falling. I, I think I saw that. I, re I really do. You know, the only thing that's really particularly tricky about this is not getting hit by one of the giant scotillas and getting knocked over and then squished. Awesome! Treasure! And at least they were nice enough to put a hole where the treasure chest was. It wasn't a trap of doom. Oh, looky here. It's the green ghost. Now he wants us to play a little game where we have to push the blocks in place to form a picture of his head. Now this takes a bit. I didn't want to spend all that much time, so we're going to shorten this. All right. until it's just time for us to fight him. And um, he's pretty much like every other ghost. You just stand here, listens to Link's feet tapping in place. Shooting him occasionally when he decides to appear. Oh, come on. There we go. We have rescued the green flame. And I am out of time.